Hi guys. Okay, so this is going to be part two of the haul. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stand up and show you what I got. This is clothes section, section or part of the haul. And I actually got a new chair, guys. Let me see if I can show you. See, it was $69.99 at um. Bed Bath & Beyond, but I had a 20% off coupon, so I ended up getting it for $70, 70 60 like $63, <clears throat> after tax or whatnot. Um, I am still wearing my body shaper, so yeah. And I'm about to look into uh, Buffy the Body's Grade A Glutes Bodynamics thing. I want, my, I want to lift my booty. Like, I got a little meat, but I want to lift. So actually, look out for that. I'm going to keep y'all posted. But clothes. Okay, so I got a lot of stuff. Got a lot of stuff. Got a lot of stuff. So, <laughs> first we can start with my favorite purchase because it's this jacket I picked up at um, Windsor. And the jacket was $34.99. I ended up paying real pri regular price for it. But FYI, stores like Love Culture, Forever 21, some pieces from Forever 21, Love Culture and Windsor, they all carry the same products. And they double, if not triple, the price of the item. There's this little mom and pop store next to the Target by my house. And, um... As you'll see, like there's some items over here that I got from that store that I was stalking online at Love Culture that went out of sale. I ended up one being able to find the items at on ground, like in the store, and two, they were like half the price of what Love Culture and Windsor were trying to charge. So yeah, I ain't gonna knock them because they are a franchise, so they gotta make their money. But yeah, that's enough of my rant. Um, I got this jacket, and it's like a sweater jacket, sweatshirt has um. The sweatshirt, the hoodie part of the sweatshirt, and the sleeves of the sweatshirt, but the vest is um, leather. And it's actually really warm. And I got it for $34.99 or $35.96 or something like that. And I got it in a size medium, but isn't it, like, nice? And then it zips, moto style. And I didn't really mind paying that $35 price because this is something I was really looking for, especially, like, it goes with everything. I can wear it with studded boots. I can wear it with the boots I have on now. I can wear it with some Chuck Taylors, some Jordans. Um, the only pair of doors I own. But yeah, this is cute, right? So, I was like, yay! I'm gonna be. Oh, it has pockets too. <laughs> but yeah, this is like one of my favorite purchases. I love it. Oh, it's so cute. And this is the back of it. And I, yeah, the small would have been too tight on my arms. And, uh, yeah, so I just got a medium with that part. Why am I hanging this guy up? I'm just going to lay it right here. Okay. <laughs> Miss my hair. Trying to be cute. Oh, my gosh. I love this with the volume. This is giving me Cynthia Bailey from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Y'all remember that one confessional when early in the season, she had that long weave, and it was, like, tossing, tousled in the back like this. I love it. Oh, I love my blue hair. But, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, then I picked this uh, red dress up. At Forever 21, it was on clearance again for $20. And it has a deep V-neck and has a bunch of pin tucks and curves and flaps and folds. This dress is really nice and regal on. It almost reminds me of something Michelle Obama would wear. Like, it fits my body really nicely. And this is a size small. And I was like, $20, give me this. And there's a lot of darting in the back. It's really nice. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Macy's. I went to Macy's when I had that one day sale or like, um, the last day sale would do 20% off. Okay. Long story short, I got this skirt and it's a sequined bead detailed stud rhinestone skirt. As you can see, the price of the skirt was $30. I, I think that was the price on sale, but I had a 20% off coupon. But it's a size extra small, and it fits me so cute, guys. And it comes to my knee. And if you know me in real life, you know I'm a little person. I'm five one, so yeah. <laughs> this was really cute. I was really, I was really excited about that purchase. I can't wait to wear that skirt or do I have a day video for you guys with that. Okay, next I got this skirt, and it was 1950, and it's in a size five, and it's by. What Eric and Lon Eric and Lonnie? Apparently, they're new at Macy's or that I've seen. But this was adorable, and a lot of their stuff is really cute. Um, and I'm always scared to wear skirts like this because I'm scared of the booty. 
but <laughs> the fact that it zips up it contours to your waist so it fit me really nice and I ended up getting a larger size I usually wear a three but I got a five and so make sure it cover my butt because I wore it to church but this was really nice it was very I got a lot of compliments on it. I've already worn it already I should just go picture that day I don't know why I did it because I had it with my blue hair too um <laughs> but yeah this was 1950 and then I paired it with this white blouse so this is the outfit together that I got from Macy's also and I paired it with some black um pumps peep toe pumps with like this little bow on it and some black stockings but this was what I wore to church okay like a little girl but this shirt was $19 also and it's by BCX but the best detail about this is this beading on the sleeves it's like a little rhinestone flower with little pearl studs and the sleeves bellow so it complemented me really nicely it was proportion nicely so my bottom was kind of billowy my sleeves were billowy but my waist was tight it was in because that zipper is me up to, I, it got me together put it like that but <laughs> oh and it has like this open v in the back but it's not it doesn't show your bra it's not too revealing it's just a nice detail to it this blouse is twenty dollars and it is so pretty and i love it i can't wait to wear it again i got it at macy's please go have a seat go back in there close your door okay i'll come change them thank you i did and don't play with me. Okay, sorry. We all know it would be a tra traditional video if the children didn't pop up. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so last at Macy's, I got this jacket. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I think it was $30. It's, yeah, it was $32. And it's by Eric and Lonnie, the same people who did that skirt. And I was like, this is so pretty. The, sea, the sleeves are satin. But the actual jacket is like this, um, what is this called? Quilted fabric, brocade texture. It's so neat. And it crosses like a moto jacket. I will try this on for you. And I got this in a medium also because, or is it a small? I think I got this in a small. I'll check the tag once I pick it off. It might be a medium. So I want everything, I don't want it to fit too tight. I want it to just fit to where it looks nice. Especially if I have to layer it. But this is what it looks like zipped up. It doesn't have any pockets. It's just kind of like something you'll wear over a dress or something. And then this is the back of the jacket. And the side panels are satin, too. Okay. Yeah. And when you unzip it, you can just fold the, um, come on, long claws. These talons, I got these long nails. Get the top, okay. Or you can just wear it like an open jacket. Super cute. I loved it. And I was like, yeah, I'll spend $30 on that. That's nice. I get a lot of wears out of that jacket with a bunch of different pieces it was a thirty dollars well spent okay oh one more thing at macy's <laughs> uh from the same person eric and lonnie i got this dress to wear to church <laughs> and i had to get this in a medium too because the small honey it wouldn't zip up my side but yeah it's just this floral dress again with the um peplum and the pin and tuck and fold origami style details and it has a sheer back but I'll probably just wear a tank under it because I only got this really to wear to church. I'll just wear a tank top under it. No big deal. And I think this was $30 also. So, yeah. Oh, and that jacket and that dress will go really nice together. I think that's why I bought it like that. Okay, moving on. Yeah, we can go to Love Culture. Okay, so I picked up a lot of sweaters at Love Culture. First, I got this jacket. And everything was like 50% off um, the sale stuff. So, I picked up this sweater. And it's this tribal print sweater. But it has like the little fluffy stuff on it. Oh, I love it so much. And it's in cream. It's the base color. I think this was $11. And I got it in a small. And it's so cute. Especially with boots and leggings. So, yeah. Y'all will see this in the upcoming outfit of the day. Um, another basic tank. Like a slouch around the house top. I think this was like $8. But it has a snow leopard. And if you know me again, you know that I love leopard and animal prints. I do. 
<laughs> but I, it's, I think this is a smaller one size. I'm going to tell you, hold on. I think this just might be one size. But the back is what's cute too because it's a shredded detail. And I have something similar, but it's just a solid gray and it's thicker. But I love the snow leopard on that. And it has ice blue eyes and it matches my hair. <laughs> I love my hair. Thank you, Summer. Kathy. Hey, girl. Okay. Um, and then I got this cardigan. I think this is like $11 or $10. And I live in Southern California and it's always hot here. So, some, like, this would be perfect for what I have on that. See, I'm on a black team with some leggings and I have some boots. But my arms are out. So, just to give me the cover of my butt so I just don't look naked. Because I think sometimes just wearing leggings and too, too tight clothes, it can backfire, it can make you look really cheap. So, I try to <laughs> layer myself. And plus, I'm around small children out there, even with my kids. You know, I, I don't want to have my booty all out. But I think my booty is out with this one. I'm crazy. Um, well, not too bad. Yeah. So, and this is in a small medium. And the sides go down, but it covers my boobs a little bit. And I thought this was really neat. And, yes, I need something low maintenance. And I thought this was really cute. And I was like, yeah, throw that in the basket and I'll take that. But, yeah. And tribal print is really in. I think tribal print will always be in. Anything with geometric shapes and bold colors, I think that's always, like, a good look, in my opinion. Okay. Next item. Can y'all see? Let me turn this on. Let's see where. Okay. Oh, uh, then I got this black tank top. And it's a California bear. And it is cropped. But I have some high-waisted leggings I purchased, too, to wear with them. And it kind of covers it up. So, yeah, this is just a simple black sweater, crop sweater. And I think this was $12 also. And it's a little California bear. I'm originally from Georgia. I'm a Georgia peach, born and raised. But, you know, everything out here says California. Nothing out here says Georgia. So I got to <laughs> win in Rome, right? Do as the Romans do. Okay, and then I got this adorable Cosby sweater. And this sweater was $13.99 at that mom and pop store. And all the stuff I just showed you. Like that cardigan, that black sweater, and then the leopard print um, sweater with the tassels shredded in the back. They had that at the Mama, Mama and Pop Store Boutique. This sweater would easily be $35 to $40 at Forever 21 or Windsor or Love Culture. But this was $13.99 at the Mama and Pop Store. And I loved it because it's blue and it matches my hair. <laughs> okay. And, um, hold on, let me put some light, some more light in here. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, and I it has this gold, metallic gold threading on the inside of it. <clears throat> Can't wait to do an outfit of the day with this either. It's made me happy, especially for $13.99. I was like, yeah, that's about right. Then, this is the one thing I wanted to purchase from Love Culture, and they didn't have it. I think it was $40, and it's one size. And y'all might think this is ugly or gaudy, but I absolutely love it. Do you see the little snow leopard in the back? I love animal print and the dots. Okay. But it's this oversized cardigan sweater. Again, when you're just wearing all black. <laughs> I bet my kids' friends being like, oh, your mama really do like animal print. Like, I do. It's not a game. But look. If you, I guess if you wanted to, you could belt it and make it into a top or a dress. But I just, I I love it. Okay. This is so cute to me. And this was $25.99 at the Mom and Pop store. But like I said, it was probably, I don't even, I think it was on sale for $25. I love culture. That's why I was going to buy it. But I'm sure it was probably $50. Right? Just like the in my jeans, right? Yes. Yes, on the tablet. Get, okay. get the tablet. Okay. <laughs> okay, now. Pins. And I'm going to let y'all go. Because I've been rambling forever in the day. Uh, at the Mama Pop store. Like I said earlier. I got these. Let me just take everything off. And then go back and put it back on. Yeah, so at the Mama Pop store, I picked up a pair, two pair of jeans. One pair was on sale for $18.99. They're originally $25, but they're these long, shredded, um, distressed jeans. 
but they have this green undertone. And these fit so well. What? Time to do homework? I gave the tablet to Elijah. So you stop being bossy and give it to him. Oh, come on. Okay, and I got them in a size one. Um, I tried them on, they fit good. So yeah. So they're a one. I usually am a three five, but I was able to stretch and squeeze in these jeans and they're really cute. So I can't wait to pair these up with an outfit. Um they are slightly high-waisted also. Then I did get an actual high-waisted pair of dark denim jeans with um, brown thread. And they're three buttons. And these were $17.99. And I got these in a size 5. And they fit really good. And they're skinny jeans. Okay. And I got again, I got these at the Mom and Pop store. Then I got the high-waist leggings with the zipper in the front. They are one size fits all. And they were $5.99. Now, I saw these leggings at Love Culture for $17.99 on the website or like $12.99. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like now I know to like surf the websites of Love Culture in Windsor and then just go into my neighborhood mom and pop store. I think the store is called City Chic or something like that. It's Asian owned and um, you know, whatever. But yeah, and they're just some simple black leggings and they're really thick and they have the thick waistband. But the tag is in the back and the zipper's in the front. And I don't like zippers in the front, so I wear it like this. <laughs> I wear it like this. But yeah, so that's that. Then I got two pair of leggings from Forever 21, and they were both on clearance. I think these were $11 and the black pair were 10 but they're just these navy blue um, leggings with a faux zipper and it's a leather panel. They're skinny on the bottom. And these are a size small. Okay. And then these leggings are extra small for Forever 21. These are $10. I saw Naturally Creole. Um, I love her. She's so beautiful. And I love her style. She has really dope style. She's so she's so fly. And she's a mom like me. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> she has a couple of children too. So yeah. Yay, team hot moms. But um, she had all these leggings. She just got them for Forever 21. And they were sheer like this. They weren't this print. The actual print she did have, I saw them and I tried them on at Forever 21. Then I put them back because I think somebody who was not a size small, extra small, put them on and stretched them out. So, yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm leaving them alone. I think they're like $17. But these are see-through. And I paired it with its top. It's like satin black top. But my booty was still out like this. So, how this top fit. So, my cakes was hanging out. And I think I would just have to wear some biker shorts under these. So, kind of. Yeah, yeah, I don't need to see all that. Everybody, everybody don't want to see that. Okay? Everybody ain't trying to see my baby cakes. But, yeah. <laughs> um, that's basically it, you guys. I had a wonderful holiday. Um, I had a wonderful birthday. I had, I had a wonderful new year. Uh, thank you, everybody, so much for watching and get into this hair. Don't forget to follow my stylist on Instagram at Styles by Summer and follow her YouTube channel, um, Summer Brown Styles. I don't know. I'll put it at the bottom of love. She knows who she is. Um, <laughs> again, thanks. Bye.